आई एम डॉक्टर निधि खरे इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल कल्चर आई टॉक्ड अबाउट द पैटर्न एंड द टाइप्स ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल कल्चर नाउ इन टूडेज लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट हाउ टू डायग्नोज ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल कल्चर डायग्नोजिंग ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल कल्चर रिक्वायर्स अनकवरिंग एंड अंडरस्टैंडिंग द बेसिक अजम्पन्स वैल्यूज norms and artifacts underlying organizational life as perceived and felt by the organizational members students one needs to examine how managerial tasks are typically performed for example how are tasks supervised how is task performance monitored how is it appraised and how is it rewarded how are decisions made and communicated and how are organizational relationships usually managed relationships for example superior subordinate relationships team spirit interdepartmental coordination union management relations and of course customer orientation so today here i am going to discuss some techniques that assist in identifying or diagnosing an organization's culture the very first technique is interviewing employees at different levels of an organization different levels means for example interviewing the workers supervisors and managers next administering relevant questionnaires and conducting attitudinal and moral surveys like sociometric techniques assist in identifying cliques and subcultures within the organization next analyzing the process aspects such as organizational policies decisions procedures rules and regulations and how the resources are procured and managed etc examining the organization's external relationships with its customers clients etc in terms of how they perceive and evaluate the organization so uh, these are some of the techniques that assist in diagnosing an organization's culture however diagnosing the cultural elements could be difficult for several reasons now a few of these reasons are mentioned here in this slide cultural assumptions are generally taken for granted and not talked about much it may therefore be difficult to get any information about the cultural aspects from the employees culture is implicit rather than explicit and can only be inferred from cultural artifacts and creations expressed beliefs and values could be different from what one really believes in and follows the former arising from social desirability that characterizes most of our behavior next informal groups in the organization may hold assumptions that are different from the corporate culture organizations are generally characterized by subcultures that are stable and functional and similar or dissimilar or supportive or non supportive of the general culture customers and clients may perceive the culture as an outcome of their personal experiences that may be either positive or negative and may not exactly reflect the true state so students hope you have understood how important it is to diagnose organizational culture and you have understood some of the techniques and what are the issues involved thank you